Hi guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to eye swap your doll. As you can see here, one of Sage's eyes is messed up from a previous eye swapping attempt. So I'm going to show you how to get those eyes out and how to put them back in. Okay, so there are a couple of things you're going to need. Something to use as a lever to get the eyes out of the doll's head if you can't do it with just your hands. And I recommend using something metal because when I've done this before, I've actually broken a wooden spoon doing it. The only thing is metal can scratch, so you have to be careful. Something to protect your hands because the doll's head can get very, very hot. I'm going to be using paper towel just because it's thin and then you can get it into the doll's head easier. Some sort of bowl to put the doll's head in that it'll fit in snugly. And then something you can use to move the eyes around in the doll's head after. And lastly, this is most important, a kettle full of hot water. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is plug your kettle in and boil the, the water. Then you need to get the doll's hair out of the way. And then once that's done, you're going to need to remove their head from their body by untying these strings at the back. If you've never taken a doll's head off before, you might need to use something to get into the knot and pull it apart. Okay, and then place the doll's body to the side, and the next thing you're gonna wanna do is grab your container and put their head in it upside down. Okay, the next thing you're going to do is you're going to take your kettle and pour the water in the hole in the doll's head here. Be very, very careful not to let any drip over because if it gets in the metal of her eye, it could wreck the doll. Once her head is squishy, you're going to want to lift her up and pour the water out. Once you've done this, you need to work quickly before her head cools down. So what you need to do is just bend it in half and go inside and push on her eye socket. It may hurt your thumb. It did hurt mine. You might have to get someone stronger than you to do it for you. And then you should get, you will get an eye that looks like this. The metal may be hot to the touch like this one is right now. <laughs> and then once you've taken all the eyes off all the dolls you want an eye swap, put your desired eye back in the eye socket just by pushing on it. It's going to be harder to get in than it is to get out, but some tricks are to go at an angle. Once you get the eye in the doll's head, you may need to rotate it, which I've already done, using some kind of small tool. I used a nail file. What will likely happen is you'll see some of the metal parts sticking out along here, and you can just push that back in using the metal tool. And then you'll probably also need to rotate it, which you can do by sticking the metal tool past the eye socket and then around to the outside of the eye. Don't rotate it by pressing right on her eye here because that can scratch it and cause damage. And you have to do this while her head is still hot. Sage's has almost cooled down all the way now, but if you don't do this while her head's still hot, it's gonna be impossible. And there you have it. How to eye swap an American Girl doll. Once you're done, I recommend just letting her head stand like this for a little while just so all the water can drip out. And then you can put her head back on her body. Okay, thank you so much for watching everyone. Make sure to look at my other videos and subscribe to my channel. And also check out my Instagram, Daisies of Manhattan. I just restarted on a new account and I'm trying to build up my followers again. Okay, thanks so much everyone.